it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm here with part two of my reviews from Outre's newest line, the Nisha Soft and Natural line. This line has clearly taken YouTube by storm. I feel like this is like the biggest launch of the year, and mind you, this happened at the nth hour, it's December, but Outre was like, you know what? We got some heat for y'all. And I'm here for it. I did a lookbook for all three units featuring my girl, The Hearts of Cake 90. Link to that is up above. I also did a review on 203, which I absolutely love. And now I'm back to review the styles 201 and 202 for you. Right now I'm wearing the Nisha 201 and I'm just gonna give you some quick specs. So this unit does come with two combs here on the side, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It is a lace front wig and it comes with parting that goes back, I would say about four inches. The main idea of this line is that it's going to be soft and natural like your natural hair texture if you are a woman of color, particularly if you're a black person. I am like obsessed with this line, with this collection. I think Altrade did it right in so many ways. So let's just get into the pros. So the first pro of the 201 unit, I would say, is the texture. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful yaki texture. There have been other wigs I reviewed that were of a natural texture, like the Janet Collection, for example, their Natural Me line. And as much as I love those wigs, the texture was very coarse to the point where it just felt dry to the touch. It felt like my natural hair when I don't moisturize it regularly. And I'm just like, yo, can... Can these companies make natural textures that are soft? Like our hair can be soft, you know? So I'm just really happy that Altre has this line where it's like when I touch it with my fingers through it, I feel like I just came out the salon and your girl didn't have to wait two hours to be seen. That's how I feel when I wear this wig. Oh man, it just feels so good. I'm not getting any tangling or any shedding with this unit, y'all. Now you just see in the quick little tutorial that I did thin out the wig just a tad bit using these shears I have here. I only did that because it was just coming off a little poofy when I first had her on. You might have noticed that in the lookbook. I just wanted it to be a little bit less dense in this area, hence why I use the shears, and I like her a lot better this way. Another way to make her less dense is to use a flat iron. If you apply some heat, you can also do that. But I didn't want to lose any of the flips and curls going on here, so that's why I just decided to use the shears. So yes, the texture is bomb. I also really like the cap construction. I mean, it's your standard cap, but I do like that it is big head friendly. So if you do have a larger head, like around 22 and a half, 23 inches, I think this will fit your head pretty well. I love the parting space. Literally, all I did was just add my pressed powder and I was good to go. I also really like the style of this unit. It's such a classic holiday style to me. I love the length. You know, I think this is perfect for every day, for work. If you have a job where, you know, your hair can't be too outlandish, maybe you can't wear a whole bunch of colors, but you still want to look good, I think the Nisha 201 would be perfect for you. Honestly, I don't really have any cons to this wig. I'm trying to think, do I? I mean, some people don't like bumped ends, so that might be a con for some. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I will probably end up straightening this out just a tad bit, but right now I am satisfied with it. So Nisha 201, She's looking good, boo. She's looking real good. Let me show you her in the honey brown color that I have, because that color is popping. Wow, y'all. Literally, that's all I did. I just threw the freaking wig on. <laughs> like, look at this. Do y'all see this? How I just threw this on? Do y'all see how I just threw this on? And I'm just adding powder. And I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just ready to go. <laughs> like, this is gorgeous. <sighs> this, this honey brown color, I mean, I just can't, I just can't speak on it enough. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on so many shades of brown skin. Oh man, like the way they did this dark rooting right here, and it's like a mixture of like a four, some type of medium brown. Then you got this like 613-ish kind of strip going right here, but it blends so beautifully into this honey brown right here. Woo! Am I a baddie or not? Nah? Like, and then this little flip, like, 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the flip, you guys. This looks really good. Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> oh, gosh. It's kind of blending into my sweater, but that's okay. Y'all see this? This wig, like, that's another thing. These wigs are so beginner friendly. I wore this for the review. I haven't worn it out yet. But do you see how I just plopped it on and I was damn near ready to go? Added some powder. I didn't use any got to be glue. I mean, you can serve a hairline if you want to. You can serve some hairline. Look how easy that was. That was literally effortless. My God, if you guys have not picked up this unit yet, when the restock happens, get up on it. I saw that beauty crew stocked it up and I was like, I had Twitter fingers. Like I was trying to let everybody know, go cop your wig. I actually copped another one. I copped the 203 in another color. So I'll probably show that to you guys very soon. But yeah, this, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Just slay the whole holiday away in this wig, y'all. And if you're not a fan of longer hair, I mean, then this is perfect for you. Perfect. I've seen some of my other wig bays review different colors in this wig. Oh my God, Mika, AKA Wigs to Waistline. She just put out her lookbook with the blondes on her skin, popping. Oh, it looks so good on her. That butterscotch, you can't go wrong with this line, my friends. You cannot. I cannot wait till it restocks so that we can all slay together. Okay, the sun is going down. I might have to shift my lighting to my ring light, but I do want to show you the 202 style. So just give me a second, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I am back with the Nisha 202 unit. I have her here in the 1B color. Very beautiful style, same pros with the texture. The cap construction is pretty much the same as far as comb placement, except it is a left side part. So if you are a big fan of left side parts, this unit is definitely for you. I am not a fan of left side. I actually do not like the left side at all. I prefer the right. So for me, I was like, ugh, damn you, Altray. Like, I get it, you know, you need to make something for everybody. So I'm happy for the left side part people. My girl Beauty with Cats, she was super ecstatic when she realized it was a left side part. So I'm happy for her. But for me, I just gotta make this work for me a little bit differently. One thing I noticed about this unit, which is a con for me, is that it seems like there's some filler hairs up in here, which explains the hump action happening here. Like I get it, they wanted this part to be kind of like a, like a bang, like a va va voom thing. And if I was gonna keep it in this, this left part, I would definitely cut this so that it swoops a little bit more and frames my face better. But I just wish they didn't have the filler hairs here. But I'm not keeping it in this side part. I'm gonna switch it to the middle. So literally, I'm just going to pick this up and move this to the middle. Wow, my middle part is not exactly the middle. Okay, oops. But I'm moving it to the middle. So this is what she looks like in the middle. You're still gonna have this like hump action here unless you apply some heat to it. So like, I would need to take my blow dryer and flatten that out. Hold on, let me see if I can do that real quick. All right, so this is what it's looking like now that I um, applied the blow dryer to the top a bit. And shout outs to Brittany, AKA Hearts and Cake 90 because She's the reason why I do that now. I think it lays a little flatter than when I'd use my curling wand. But yeah, it's cute. It's like a longer 201 when it's in the middle. But then you just know that if you do this, you will have a track right here that's showing. And solution to that, y'all already know how I do. <laughs> Where am I sitting at? I just cut it out, okay? I'm not wearing this to the left, so I don't care. I'm just cutting this joint out like this. Easy peasy. Now you see it, now you don't. Okay. Who needs that track anyway? So now we are good to go. If I were wear this out, I would apply some got to be glue right there before walking out the door. But yeah, I like this better in the middle. Honestly, I wish I could just wear it to the right side, but can I wear it to the right side? Hold on. 
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm literally just doing stuff on the fly right now. <laughs> Okay, this is me shifting it to the right. Now the issue with that is, this cap is like kinda big on me right now. So, I just shifted 202 to the right. I would, I would fix this. Um, I don't know. She's not meant to wear it to the right. So if you see me like looking at myself funny, it's just cause like I know she's not supposed to be this way. Yeah, no. Shift it back to the middle. If I were to wear this out like right now, I would ap apply my got to be glue to the front and wear her to the middle. She's pretty, but she's honestly my least favorite of the three because of this whole left side part action. I just don't like it. But the hair is freaking gorgeous. You're not getting any tangling with this one, not anytime soon at least. And this texture, I mean. <sighs> All right, one more. I'm gonna show you the black cherry. All right, fam, so this is the 202 style in the black cherry color. And this seemed to be a fan favorite, which surprised me. A lot of people were like, oh my God, I need that color. Like, now. I haven't been wearing red burgundy hair really since the last holiday season, so. I'm just getting used to it again. And I do think it's pretty. I just prefer the blondes a little bit more. But this red is really pretty. This burgundy is nice. Uh, I don't really need that streak to be right there, but it still looks good. Like I like the way it looks on this side better. But yeah, this is cute too. I wore her in the middle part during the lookbook, but I wanted to show you the side part here for all of my, you know, side part girls and for my left part people. And yeah, she looks good. All throughout this line, the texture is consistent. Cap size is pretty consistent. I felt like one of them fit tighter than the other. It might have been the 201 fit a little bit more snug than the 203, but it, it didn't make like a huge difference. Oh, I love how it does that right there. Yes. My overall thoughts on this collection, I think Altrey did an excellent job with this entire line. The fact that we have natural hair textures that come in these array of colors is amazing. Normally it's very hard for companies to do natural hair and color together. Like it's either or, it's never both combined. So I think Outre pretty much mastered it. This feels so soft and luscious, just like real human hair. I'm just floored at the quality of these units. And for the price point, 30, what, $31 on some sites? It might go up a little bit more due to the demand, but I mean, for under $35, you can't beat this. Natural hair textures and these array of colors, you cannot beat it. So as soon as this restock happens, I hope all of you are able to pick up one of these units. I am in love with them and I would definitely purchase them over and over again with my own coin. Make sure you drop me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the units. Have you purchased them? Did you catch any of the restocks that happened on the sly? I caught one on Beauty Crew, shout out to y'all. Make sure you check out some of my girls who have been slaying Nisha, Kyra Sean, Shanice Nicole, Hearts of Cake 90, Magical Blackness, Queen of Mindset, Wigs to Waist Length. So many people are just rocking the hell of these units and you just, just check us all out. My favorite is 203 if you don't know that by now. So yeah, make sure you drop a comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning into this premiere. I love you and appreciate you. And I will see you next week for Is That Your Hair Holiday. Bye.